The NRA's Wayne LaPierre has finally come out with a statement in regard to the Navy Yard shooting of last week. Let's watch. This is what you said after that massacre. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. This was the Navy Yard. There were armed guards there, Mr. LaPierre. Does that not undermine your argument? No, the whole country, David, knows the problem is there weren't enough good guys with guns. When the good guys with guns got there, it stopped. It doesn't matter what the situation is, the response is always going to be more guns. Okay, so when there's a shooting at a place where there's no guns whatsoever, at Sandy Hook, what did he say? More guns. When it happens in a, in a place where random people could be carrying guns, there should have been more of them. At the Navy Yard, when many people do have guns, if only there'd been more of them. And so at some point, when the response to every problem is the same, you have to wonder if the solution has anything to do with the problems whatsoever, or if he's serving some other master entirely. And I think that in, that, in this case, that's entirely true. It's not that you'd be protected in the Navy Yard or you'd be protected at Sandy Hook if more people had guns. It's just that if we had more guns, we'd have more guns. And those would have to be sold, and they'd make their money. And that's what this is all about. And what's interesting about his strategy of simply having more armed guards everywhere in America, whether it's schools, whether it's the Navy Yard, let's think about how reactive that is. So if some kid had, uh, had snuck into his house, you know, he was in his house, his parents have a gun, he takes the gun, he goes somewhere, he shoots someone, and let's say instantly a, you know, a constitutional citizen who is exercising his Second Amendment rights, he has a gun, he takes it out, he shoots the kid. Is that an acceptable situation for us? that he was able to kill someone beforehand? What if he got off two shots or 10 shots or his full magazine? What if he gunned down one or five people? What cost should there be to respond to every single one of these situations? Because in the best case scenario, you're always, under Wayne LaPierre's logic, responding to a shooter. So let's not do anything about mental health issues. Let's just get, let them get the guns. Don't worry about them being on the terrorist watch list. Just let them get the guns. Spread them everywhere. Let kids possibly be able to sneak into their parents' rooms and take the guns. As long as after they've cracked off a couple shots, we gun them down, we'll be fine in America and there'll be no issues. I personally don't think that that's an acceptable response. I think that you need to not simply respond to gunfire when it happens, you need to do something before the gun is even purchased, before the person, in some cases with mental issues, before they even go to buy the gun. And there are so many things we can do as a country that go so far beyond simply responding to someone opening fire in a crowded theater or a crowded mall or a Navy yard or wherever. I personally think that it does not take all that much creativity to come up with ways that we can respond that will be far more effective in terms of protecting American lives rather than simply saying everyone everywhere should be packing at all times. And as I said, the fact that that's where Wayne, Wayne LaPierre and the NRA go in all situations should lead you to, to understand that they don't care about your safety. Wayne LaPierre isn't going to be at the Navy Yard. He's not going to be at Sandy Hook. His kids are going to be at places where there is protection or where there's no guns nearby. They are going to be protected. He is going to be protected. It's you who's in danger because of the rampant guns that have spread all throughout the country over the course of the past few decades. They become so easy to get. It's easy to get magazines that hold a huge number of rounds and he simply doesn't care. And while I attacked him after Sandy Hook for what I saw as a response to the shooting that completely lacked uh, empathy, apparently now after hearing what he had to say about the Navy Yard, it wasn't that in that one case he was cold or lacking compassion. He apparently is just an asshole who doesn't care whatsoever about the loss of American life.